Hey, what's up? This is Ian, and in this video, we're going to talk about uh, what's it like to work in the terrain park. Um, so, this terrain park is doing pretty good right now. It's kind of growing. Uh, it's still fairly early in the season, and it's pretty cool, I think. It's getting better. Up top, you can't see. It kind of splits, and there's two parks, a little park, and then up to the left is kind of uh, is a bunch of rails, different kinds of rails, a hip. Uh, it's some boxes. And then to the right, uh, there's a bunch of rollers, some fun small tabletops and stuff like that. So what's it like working in the terrain park? First, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, uh, who this kind of job is for. Number one, you should like to ride the terrain park. Uh, I think that's a pretty important thing. Like if you just want a pass job to get a pass so you can ride the whole mountain and you're not really a park rider, then I'd say this job's not for you. You can find there's a bunch of jobs at, at the ski area that will allow you to ride as well. You know, like I've done rentals, instructing, uh, waiting on tables, and uh, and this. So I like this the best because I do like riding uh, the train park and the progression and the fun and learning new tricks and stuff. And I also like making jumps. Like, you know, in the past I've made quite a few jumps on my own and like two th two seasons back or so I um, had my own little sort of park out in the uh, farm country where I built a series of sort of jumps and stuff but anyway so I think you should kind of like that part too like the creating and the job requires a lot of um, raking so I'll show you one of these rakes fairly typical rake and they work really good. So, yeah, you can kind of, yeah, you can kind of, you gotta get it right. You can scrape, scrape the snow, shape the snow, kind of use it somewhat like a shovel, and they're good. You can like make nice smooth trannies on the, on the jumps and like rails and stuff and like this tube, like that's pretty much done with the rake and the snow cat does something too and every mountain's going to be a little bit different as to what you have to do but sort of like a day in a life so i'm at the bottom of the park right now and um we got to put up like see the slow slide we got to put that up all these little red brushes um to mark the jumps and takeoffs and stuff uh we put those up like you see a, t a couple over there on that jump, that jump, and a lot of these other little kind of, uh, my boss calls them uh, stunt bumps. They're just kind of like little, little kind of jumps, kind of like spine shaped kind of. Um, all these, see the ropes over there? We got to kind of like take care of those. Sometimes people cut them and tear them down. Like there's a spot over there that should probably be fixed. They try to cut the rope. Uh, what else? There's on the top, there's a bunch of signs you get a place, you open it, uh, you go through and kind of, um, yeah, every park's going to be a little bit different, but usually you do a little shaping in the morning or just check or clean up after the cat. Like sometimes like that jump up there where those, uh, people are like this morning had a bunch of kind of rubble in the landing from the snow cat and that one too. And so throughout the day, sometimes stuff on a busy day will get kind of like tracked out or scarred. Like this one's still in fairly good condition. Well, you can kind of see some people, a lot of these kids are hitting it like a jump this way and landing flat. It's not actually the way you're supposed to hit it. This one, you, you, you got a couple options. You can hit it straight for the tube if you want to slide the tube or you can hit it like a hip on the corner and land on the bank over there. Uh, that hip down there looks a lot better than it did this morning. I probably spent 
a good hour and a half or so working on that, cleaning it up. That's new. That's new. That's probably going to be, he's probably going to place a rail on that or something, a, a rainbow kind of box thing. Um, yeah, you know, other things, terrain, like kind of the status quo too with terrain parks, like a lot of like, uh, they want things kind of really clean, like the sides and stuff like this. And it doesn't actually matter. What really matters is make a nice smooth tranny. You know, you want your takeoff to be nice and smooth. Well, a lot of things matter. And you want your landing nice and smooth. So, like, you want that to be nice and smooth. And it's pretty good. It, this, this one can kind of get kind of, like, wavy or something. I think backing it up and getting these with the cat is probably difficult. But it's like those things, uh, they don't really matter. But it's kind of the status quo with parks, cleaning it up and stuff. So, um, same with like that, uh, like the side of the jump there. Um, all right. So, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of what it's like. Do you get to ride much in the train park? I would say normally that's going to also depend on the mountain. Sometimes the day, I would say yes. Um, uh, yeah, you could get, you know, taking laps through the park and stuff. You usually get quite a bit of time to ride. Um, and that's pretty cool. So, because, I mean, on one hand, you want people to, to be riding the park to sort of test it out. And if you're like, you know, you want to get feedback from people who are working in there too and stuff on how things are. And if you're not, you know, if you're not riding the terrain park how can you know exactly like what it feels like to hit these jumps and stuff like that you know so it's kind of like a requirement um i think like it's just kind of common sense you know um what else is it like sometimes you got to fill out some kind of paperwork like what you did in the day or something like that depends on the mountain uh sometimes people get hurt that's a thing. I, I think someone might have broke their leg off of that jump the other day. I rolled down, and um, so I saw someone walking up the back of the jump. I was up above. See that? It was kind of like a uh, a greenish tube up there on the right, kind of blue-green tube up there, if you could see. those. Um, so I was up there, and I saw some some girl walking up the back of the jump. And then I was like, what are you doing? Because, of course, that's another part of the job is you're kind of patrolling a little bit, like make sure people aren't doing stupid things and like like that, like standing on the jump, standing behind the jump because people can't see um, – like we're standing on the side of the jump, so we have good visibility. But if I'm down there, you cannot see me from up here. So anyways, this girl was walking up the back. I was like, what are you doing? She says, if someone hurt, so I went down, I blocked the jump, put, took my board off, put it across the jump, stood on the jump, make sure it was coming. Someone called ski patrol, so they were on the way. And then, you know, I stood on that jump and blocked it for uh, until the person got carried away. So, and I'm not 100% sure, but I think that they there was some talk of a broken leg, I heard ski patrol say. So, um, yeah, it's possible. Um, those things, you got to see people slam sometimes. Um, so yeah, your kind of job is to make sure things are going smoothly and people are being safe. And a lot of it's like a lack of awareness. Like people aren't, aren't, um, uh, they're lying down underneath the jump. They're taking their time. They're putting their ski on when actually says so you pick the ski up, move to the side. So sometimes you got to tell them that. Um, so yeah, you're a little bit, a little bit of patrol and make sure people are, you know, not doing stupid things or causing problems or a lot of people will stand on the jump. They want to get a view. So they'll ride up and just kind of stand there and just do, 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 take some pictures, 
you know, and then sometimes there'd be more than one people standing on top of the They're not, they're not aware that, Hey, uh, this is a terrain park and, uh, people come here because they want to hit these jumps. They want to hit these features. So you got a lot of beginners rolling through here. Um, yeah, I sort of think that like they should find a way to kind of block like, um, beginners from coming through here because I mean, if you could, like, she's not a very good skier, like she's not even hitting any features. So from my point of view, she shouldn't even be in here. Like if you're like, you know, doing the pizza down the hill or whatever, and, uh, or just like kind of slip siding on a snowboard, it's just kind of like, eh, like, why are you here? You shouldn't really be here. I mean, of course, it's a free country, so you're entitled to what, what to uh, do, but ooh. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I think that's pretty much it. I don't know if I have any uh, else to say. If I forget something, I'll leave it in the comments or the description. And thanks for watching. And this is Ian saying so long.